TDE, the derelict MC, LR family, low rise record. But what up, Dirty Nate? 306 day fly. I really don't know this guy I'm going against, so I could do nothing personal. But I've always been about my murder shit, so we'll see what the fuck he has. Derelict, you better bring your fucking bra, man. I'm coming with the fat jokes, fuck. Man, I'm here to do this. I finally wrote for a battle, so people should be amped up about that. Shout out to him, though, man, for coming. Anyways, props to everybody out here. Shout out to Sacred Scripts, 306 Battlegrounds. Let's get it in. 306 Battlegrounds, my name is Fremo Skills. I'm with the big homie. B Dub Birchwood, 306 Battlegrounds. Go fuck yourself, faggot. Shit. We're at the top eight of the tournament. I'm gonna let dude introduce himself on my left, first of all. Dirty Nate, State Fly, 306, you know all that shit. Woo! It's me and your girl, Born Hub, all that again. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on my right. TD, the derelict MC, right. motherfucker, what's good? It's 306 Battlegrounds, we call it on the left in the air. Give me some heads. <laughs> <laughs> you got heads, man. Is. What you saying? Call this guy, Sean. 90 seconds on March, <laughs> right? Hold it down. Hold, Hold it down. down. Hold it down. Well, if it ain't Mr. Dirty Nate, that fucking scummy, bummy Nietzsche himself. <laughs> Mr. Sip a couple 40s probably trying to fuck his cousin as well. <laughs> I'm going to keep it like this. Fat, white, and nerdy, too. But it always seems, man, make fun of him, but he can never be body, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna get down to this easy. Diss myself, or maybe not. Don't get too reckless. You wanted to come to battle, I'll bring you a good message and fucking leave you a big gash where your head was. Yo, when it comes down to microphones, I rock them more than crack rockers rock them in the pipe. And every single time that I drop something, I drop something that's too overly hype. People say that I ain't nothing nice and I ain't nothing to be like because I'm not rocking with no crews going out killing mics every night. I stay inside because I make money. Huge digits in the bank, son. I'm buying a house, I got cars, I got shit coming up that you ain't done. And plus I'm from the hood, I ain't from Forest Grove, so how the fuck does that make your crew look? Cause I got all my team out there right now, they're pushing crack, selling shit, making your shit look shook. Motherfucker, I'm not about the street rap code though. I'm not about doing anything like that, but promo. I'm out here just trying to show these motherfuckers that I can flow for show though. <laughs> Either way, yo, check it. I'm caught slipping, man. This is the first time I ever had to try and spit a written, man. And I can't even keep up with that shit because I keep on forgetting, man. <laughs> hey, uh, you look like you enjoy getting your pu shit pushed in. You look like you enjoy the taste of your two homies, man. <laughs> you look like after too many gins, the Bombay Unleashed is a Bombay lady boy from within. That's his favorite part about studio time with his friends. He gets drunk, blacks out, they stick the dicks in his end. <laughs> no, you land there, but you can barely lick my ball. <laughs> See, this is what his week consists of. I said, this is what his week consists of. Monday movies with Greg, Tony Tuesday at 8, and Wednesdays with Dave, and it fucking ends with candles and roofies and rape. <laughs> Damn, my roomie was great. <laughs> Same blood, they get derelict. Severed spleen, sex with teens, 17, never been on a wrestling team. <laughs> See, you ain't murderous mics, never murder mics. Shout out to Pat Stain when I say your motherfucking record screen. Yeah, yeah. You fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you had a kid dog, you'd be a really shitty father. Mm -hmm. He adopted his, his girlfriend and now she's his daughter. I mean, <laughs> Yo, I'll throw this fucking muffin top in the oven box. Someone, someone calls the fucking cops. But walk in the room, the blick, it smells like something strong, like asshole. I'm like, yeah, that's what, but that's what happens when you fat piece of shit in the oven lawn. Yo, how solid is him? You're the fucking obvious, obvious thing. thin. You handle things at the Holiday Inn. Real talk. I just shit on this fucking face. Call you Peter Griffin because you just got some balls on your chin. Yo, I'm wrong. Get him. I got a cerebellum full of professional tactics to murk this rainbow kid. I got a team that stays with urbanary weaponary straps like Rainbow Six. The front door kicked in flashbangs, see his mom fall and do the splits. And she falls and spits and starts spilling blood as she spits. Catching six, 5.56 millimeter blue tip, hollow tips to both of her tits. First room clean, second room grenade as well, Leah set up studio. Do out the two 13 year old groupie hoes and pistol whip his loser bros. Tell them stay in school, not fly or you're bound to die like hippie shirts. Pull out the pistol just to pop the pop the pop and watch the pissy pussy squirt. Yo. It's a scorcher, it's easy to burn you Cause I never even heard a track done by you 
And you can come at me with your baby bullshit saying that I look like a baby like I was Caillou. See, I just to <laughs> man. I don't work at the Holiday Inn. So all your shit that's true ain't really just happening. Yeah. And I'm not the type of guy to get with family ties. Sure, I look like Peter Griffin from Family Guy, but I will body your whole family. Fly, disappear, get put into the fucking sky. Like you all just went into a fucking plane crash, didn't stay fly, hit a crash, crowers with a cannon and died. Yeah, easy though. No personals, cause I don't even know this hoe. I just know that I had to come here and blow a fucking load on his forehead before I go. Is that not some gay shit? That's just not some hate shit. Cause I'm not fucking homosexually against it, but I'd just rather enjoy seeing his face get hit with 16,000s of my wasted kids like his mom's face did. Gigantic hips. Oh my goodness, that's no homo. ugly as shit. I'm real. You're surprised. See? Yo, you're fucking fat and you're greasy. Don't put that when I say that shit was easy. <laughs> okay. Fuck. I'm the fucking rudest of kids. You look like fucking Buddhist kid. Your fucking chick's tits are probably just as huge as those tits. <laughs> Your chicks are just as much fucking foreskin you can tie a noose with your dick. <laughs> That's a lot of foreskin. <laughs> Get him. See? I, I didn't come fucking prepared. But I came to body him anyways. His fucking dad said he's such a fucking fat bitch that he uh, couldn't even get a fucking plate at the dinner place. <laughs> fucking did he do I guess we both didn't come prepared. Word up. Yeah. But I still came to kill this player. Heard up. Very <laughs> deep beneath the sand, six feet, just to see. All those homies come around and cry and have pity. Yeah. Oh. My raps get shitty? Nah, your raps get shitty. Your raps just remind me of how small my titties actually are. As compared to my girlfriends who are double D large. So you wanna talk like you got hip hop in charge? I'll take a barrage to go outside, rock two cars, smash them into one side of your body, bring the other one, and I'll take you into the garage, towed in with both cars, so people will have to peel you out with EMS to even understand how I had to damage your squad. Cause they'll be in the hospital visiting you, being like, oh man, you're gonna make it, bro. We're gonna get out and get fucking crazy baked and have crazy hosts. We're gonna record a song about it. It's gonna be amazing, yo. I pull that shit out of my ass. Not my name, sorry, but I'm a better freestyler too. I could have fucking bodied a lot of kids just freestyling, dude. I wrote a lot of shit and I forgot a lot of it. And this is why I fucking feel like I could actually be a bit. But I'm never gonna lose to some kid, especially this bitch. I won't take it now, I'll take a dub. But I will surely take your love. Cause I know everybody loves the big happy guy with lots of chub. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah. Eat it up. Three. How the fuck did you get that custom shirt to even fit you, dude? You're like the fucking biggest bitch here too. If you were Lee Smokey D's cousin, you'd probably kiss him too. <laughs> Yo. I'll fucking piss on your kicks. <laughs> you're so fucking broke, you can't even get your kicks and fits and kicks and fits. I'll come sit up, piss on your ribs, shit in your lips, and fucking slip my dick in your sis. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. <laughs> so you said you make money? Come on, bitch, fucking fat dummy. <laughs> like, you know I was gonna come with the fat jokes. Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what? Fuck you, fatso. <laughs> See, I'll come with the ending bars. One more fatso, you're fucking ugly in your large. <laughs> Stretch marks, less hard. More soft, you're large. <laughs> Cheer. Oh. That's three of them. We're gonna go to the judges see what they think about that. Blah. Fuck, man. <laughs> 306 Battlegrounds, I'm Primo Skills. We just got out of a sick battle, the Derelict MC versus Dirty Nate. It was real close, but the judges at the end of the day gave it to the homie Derelict. Where, man? Moving on to the TDE. Go Rise Records, shout out to Nate, dog. That's what happens when you don't fuck up a big shit, bro.
just watch Darren Leap vs. Nate. Uh, both those dudes forgot some of their bars and didn't come as good as they probably should have. Remember, this is a fifteen hundred dollar tournament. If whatever one of you guys are moving on, just come hard. I gotta give it to Dare Leap though. Uh, he was coming with. Uh, he came a lot more correct, and I thought Nate forgot a lot. <coughs> forgot a lot of his bars. Right, let's go. Go. I almost want to flip a coin, but I know that shit wouldn't be right. <laughs> that being said, yeah. Like, like uh, Guillotine said, they came way too underprepared. This is fifteen hundred dollars. This is a top eight, and I mean, I feel like I'm watching a fucking promo battle. Yeah, we're you know, like they they're in a situation to you know really make a move in the city, and they they're coming in freestyling, man. I, I thought I was watching a domination <laughs> domination battle. All fat jokes aside, I mean, fuck, man. It's it's a toss up, man. I couldn't. I can't, I can't, I can't say, I really can't, because it was, it was, uh... First round, I'll give it to Nate, and the last two rounds, I'll give it to Daryl Leak, because he was more consistent, he didn't really fuck up, uh, Nate had a couple fucks up, like... What happened, Nate? What happened, bro? <laughs> you fucking smashed your brother, I gave you the win, barely scraped by, you should've came more prepared. Yeah. Two to one, Daryl Yo, what up? It's fucking Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> just kidding. We just came down to a kind of dope battle, you know. Both these guys should have came prepared, but obviously they're not hungry enough for $1,500. But anyways, we got Nate Dirt, Nate, whatever, fucking dare lick my balls. I actually thought that these guys, they underprepared for this battle, but... On a consistency level, I thought Derek got it. Derek? Derek? Yeah, Derek. I think he got it. He actually, he got it. Okay, yeah, he got it. The white boy, homie, he got it. As far as his freestyle, oh, shut the fuck up, Spud. His freestyles were good, man. His freestyles were good. I think they're more projected better than Dirt. So I'm going to give it. Base drafting out freestyles, eh? Dirt, yeah, like, yeah. 3 0. Oh, Derek. Let's go, Max, fam, oh. Uh, yo, Spud, Robin Edmonton, shout out Fremo Skills, bringing this out. Uh, just watched a sick battle, Derelict versus Nate. I don't know, I have to say, none of the guys came as prepared as they should have. Um, I was expecting a little bit more. I'm gonna have to pretty much give it to Derelict, two rounds to one, based on less slip ups. That's pretty much all it was. Two rounds to one, Derelict. <laughs> Rain drop, Mr. Take Your Hoodie Off, you look like a pervert. <laughs> you already know what it is. Um, this one came down to pretty much who could freestyle better, and Derelict just made it seem more fluid when he was yeah. making the transition from what I thought were written to freestyle. Um, so I'm going to give this one to Settle the fuck down, Spud. <laughs> Give this one to White Dominate, aka Derelict.